the nine crucial personalities in King Charles' coronation. The coronation of King Charles and the Queen Consort will happen on Saturday the 6th of May, with 2,000 invited guests set to show up at the ceremonial ritual at Westminster Abbey. From the Duke of Sussex to the Dean of Westminster, let's have a glance at the imperative figures representing life and colour at this glamorous occasion. King Charles III, 74, previously identified as the Prince of Wales, was the longest-serving successor to the throne before crowning a king on 8 September 2022, after the demise of his mother Queen Elizabeth II. Barely fortnight to come, King Charles will be formally crowned in a ceremonial service where he will take an imprecation in the presence of the country and his sovereignty as the next King of England. King Charles is recognized for his earlier volunteering as a fervent climate activist and a an campaigner of art. During his time as the Prince of Wales, he founded a youth charity called The Prince's Trust, an organization that aims to help young people with employment, education, and enterprise. Charles wedded Diana in 1981 and stayed married for 15 years till they got divorced. Camilla came into the picture and got married in 2005 with Charles. The next in line is the Queen Consort herself formerly known as Camilla Parker Bowles. The Queen Consort the attention will also be focused on Camilla who will be anointed and crowned queen at the Westminster Abbey. Camilla the now queen consort was humiliated as the third person in Diana's relationship which was like a love triangle. This blew out of proportions and led to the divorce of the then Charles and Diana the then Princess of Wales in 1996. Camilla confessed during the British Vogue dialogue in June 2022 that it was not easy during that damaging self-ruining negative unconstructive press publication. She reiterated in the course of that interview and I quote, I was scrutinized for such a long time that you just have to find a way to live with it, she said. After so many years of soul-searching, and after founding her feet in the monarch amidst her regal obligations, the then Duchess of Cornwall is currently the patron of more than 90 non-profit organization dubbed charities. Camilla work comprises of literacy, animal welfare and rally against domestic abuse and sexual violence against females. The Earl Marshal is the next in line of the inevitable figures that is representing in the coronation. Edward Fitzalan Howard, the Earl Marshal and the 18th Duke of Norfolk, clenches a vital position in the King's impending coronation service. The designation is customarily assumed by the highest-ranking duke in England and the responsibility itself dates to primitive eras. The Earl Marshal is liable for national ceremonies such as coronations, memorial services, and the inauguration of Parliament. He graduated from Oxford and a father of five children who succeeded the role from his dad Miles Francis Stapleton Fitzalan Howard as Duke in 2002. His father was the 17th Duke of Norfolk. Edward net worth is £100 million and manages procedures with a combination of aptitude, scheduling, utter meticulousness and with boundless comedy. Next in line is Archbishop of Canterbury Rev Justin Welby, Dean of Westminster, Dr David Doyle 61, Prince and Princess of Wales and the Duke of Sussex. As, as a terrible person and slowly, slowly over the years she has been rehabilitated, she has managed to turn the public from really, really disliking her intensely to accepting her. In recent years, we've seen Charles using his position to draw attention to an issue close to his heart, climate change. We cannot ignore the symptoms and should act now to restore the health of the planet. Charles's advocacy and service and support for his mother, stepping in as she reduced her duties, led many to reevaluate him. In many ways, Charles is a better fit for a modern Britain than he was 30 or 40 years ago. In some ways, public opinion has moved behind Charles. An heir in waiting, patiently preparing for his future role. When that moment finally arrived, the new king led his nation in mourning their beloved monarch. Queen Elizabeth was a life well lived, a promise with destiny kept, and she is mourned most deeply in her passing. That promise of lifelong service, I renew to all today. 
On Coronation Day, Charles is expected to appear on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, surrounded by his family. Keir Simmons is with me now to talk about the future monarchs who will be right there alongside the king. Hi, Keir. Good to see you. Hey there. And I can't wait to be with you there in London. It's yeah. going to be so much fun, right? It is. Savannah, on Coronation Day, we are likely to see King Charles with two future kings. Charles' son, Prince William, is expected to ascend to the throne after his father. And nine-year-old Prince George is also likely to one day be king. Next in line of succession is Princess Charlotte, followed by Prince Louis, William's youngest. Like Charles, his grandchildren have been in the public eye since they were born. Prince William and Kate Middleton were delighted to welcome their first bundle of joy, heir to the throne, George Alexander Louis, in 2013. He's got a good pair of lungs on him, that's for sure. Uh, he's, uh, he's a big boy, he's quite heavy. A little over a year later, Prince George was already embarking on his first royal tour, a visit to New Zealand and Australia. Cameras followed his every move, playtime with fellow toddlers, and a trip to Australia's Tarangas.